welcome to another episode of I Demand Homestead. My name is Amanda and today what we're going to be doing is we're kind of trying to further our journey to sustainability by trying to um, install a solar pool heater um, for our pool here and as you can see Dave is going to be my um, partner in crime as we try and get this done. Okay so here's our pool. Um, it is 18 feet or 16 feet by 32 feet um, and as you can see we've got a solar blanket on it um, and up till now we have had a gas heater which has just broken um, which is actually kind of fine with us because we're trying to get off gas um, and so this is a great opportunity for us to do that so we are going to be installing solar so this is what we're going to be doing you can see Dave is climbing up the ladder hello Dave don't fall off the roof. Ah! Okay, so we're going to be installing these solar panels here. Um, and these are two feet by 20 feet. Um, and we, so we've got four of them. And that should be enough. We may need to kind of add another two. We're going to kind of wait and see. Um, but that's what we're going to be installing today. So we are lucky because we have a bungalow and we have a um, west facing roof. I mean, south facing would be even better, but um, this is this is pretty darn good. This area gets an awful lot of sun, so that's where we're going to be installing them on that roof. And then over here to the side is where our pool pump is, so that's where the pipes are going to be coming down to pump the heated water out to the pool. Okay, so here we are on our roof. Ooh, there's our pool. And we have laid out our uh, solar panels. These ones go horizontally. Some of them go vertical, but this one is horizontal. Um, and we've picked the area of the roof where it gets the most sun. Although it's not sunny right now, which is actually a blessing because it's bloody hot up here. Um, so we've laid them out. Um, and what we're gonna do is the inlet. So if the pool pump is right down here, I'm not gonna lean too far over, but you can see it. There's a pool pump. Okay, so the inlet is going to be at this bottom corner here. Okay, you always want the inlet where it's going to come up from the pool to be at the bottom corner. Okay, and then the outlet where the water is going to come back after it's gone through all the panels. It's going to come back out this way with a pipe that's going to come down and then back down to the pool. Okay, so um, what we're doing now, now we do need to angle these a little bit as well so that they're actually on a little bit more of a slope coming down this way to allow everything to drain through the, the inlet. But the first thing that we're doing is we're putting little caps on the ends here on where the outlet and the inlet are not. So a cap there and a cap same down at the other end there. Okay. So this is what we've got done so far. So what we've done now is you take these cuffs and you put them in between each panel and then you tighten them up with these, uh, what do you call these things here, Dave? The collars. Collars, right. You tighten them up, um, not over tightening. And then you do that between each one. Okay. And, uh, now we're going to take a little break because it's super hot up here and then we're going to make sure that this is on a little bit of an angle as I said before the whole thing and then we'll start um, we'll start putting the roof straps on to hold it down okay so here are our installed panels um, I'll show you the rest of what we did we ended up being not able to finish it today because it is raining it's not a good time to be installing PVC pipe and drilling holes into your roof when it's raining. Okay, so there are these roof mounting straps that run down. And then what you do is you um, drill a hole through the straps with a um, lag bolt and then you drill that into the roof to secure it down and then you obviously apply a whole bunch of roof caulking to make sure that it's well sealed and we have done that at intervals of 
um, 12 inches, then 53 inches, 53 inches, 53 inches down here, and then 12 inches again here. And that is what affixes these panels to the roof. And then what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to show how we do the PVC plumbing that attaches the um, inlet here to the system coming from the pool pump down to the pool pump and then the outlet which is over there and the PVC that we're going to run along here and then down and then again down to the pool pump. We're also going to put um, a diverter in place because what that basically allows us to do is shut off the system from pumping water up to the panels which we'll do at night because if you allow it to continuously run what happens then is is that when it cools down at night it actually cools down your pool at nighttime and that's not what we want so we want to be able to divert the system to just be a regular pool pump at that point so that's what so thank you for joining me on another episode of I Demand a Homestead. Um, I know this is maybe a little bit not, not a gardening type column, but um, we're trying to kind of get off gas and this is one way that we are trying to do that. Um, so if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. If you like this video, press the subscribe button and the notification bell and we'll see you again next time, hopefully when it's a little bit drier and we can actually get the PVC installed. All right, everybody, have a great day. Bye-bye.